part two of my podcast um, about how to make notes on your research and then use them in the future for your projects, written or practical. So I'm just going to finish reading this chapter now. Done. Well, actually, I can't really read that fast. Um, it's taken me about two or three days, I think, since I first started this podcast, and I've finally finished that chapter. It's um, partly because I can't, I don't have the time in my diary just to sit down and read the chapter and take notes. I have to do it. Um, at, well, at the moment, I'm doing it in the evenings, um, outside of all the other work that I've got to do. So it's taken me a few days, but I have finished that first chapter. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a Word document. I've made citations, and at the end, I've sort of summarised what the whole chapter's about. Now, um, because the writer is is very good writer, is very logical, and he he sets out his main ideas, then he gives examples, then he summarises. It's very easy to become bogged down or seduced by some of the examples he gives and lose the main gist of what he's saying. Um, it's also because you know, it's a very interesting subject and you know I like reading it, I like finding out about this stuff. Um, so the main thing is but once you've got the gist of it, you can make some citations and then you can move on to the next bit. So let's find out now what I think this chapter's about. Okay, so the first thing is it's um, actually it's chapter two. I remember I skipped out or I skimmed over chapter one because it was like a sales chapter. So he begins this chapter um, by saying that creativity is observed when there's an interrelation between three parts, uh, which is the domain, which is the symbolic rules of culture and procedures. So, for example, mathematics is a domain, music is a domain, poetry, dance, cinema, etc. And then the field um, is part two, and this is the gatekeepers, so it could be music uh, teachers, it could be curators of music events, record labels, radio programmes, playlists, say, critics, administrators of foundations, government agencies that deal with the culture, and the market as well. And then finally, and maybe surprisingly, the individual person. When that person uses the symbols of the domain... Um, to create something new, a new pattern, where novelty is selected by the appropriate field for inclusion in the relevant domain. So this is basically what this chapter is about. So it's this idea, and then he gives some examples, and then he summarises. So that is essentially what it is. There's three, to have creativity, you need three things. Domain, a field, and an individual person. It's a bit surprising that the individual person isn't all you need. Um, but no, what um, the author's saying is, in fact, that's only one part out of three of the actual process of creativity. And that's it. Let me give you some um, paraphrasing and citation now. So this is from page 47. Uh, Mihaili says... It is important to point out the tenuousness of the individual contribution to creativity because it is usually so often overrated. Yet one can also fall into the opposite error and deny the individual any credit. Luck, although a favourite explanation of creative individuals, is also easy to overstate. Many young scientists in Linus Pauling's generation were exposed to the arrival of quantum theory from Europe. Why didn't they see what this theory implied for chemistry the way he saw it? Okay, to summarise then, when um, making notes, read the chapter, uh, try to get the gist of it. Most of the important information in well-written texts is at the beginning and at the end. And then in the middle, there's often examples. Um, and this particular chapter really, within the first page, had explained the main gist of what the chapter's about and then there's some examples and find some useful citations that are going to support your ideas um, and then write a quick summary of what you think the chapter's about save it into your uh, document somewhere for later use so that you can 
Be kind to yourself in the future. Thank you for listening.